So I'm not here to show you this swing, but uh, Dante Supagno here, he has found me a jackfruit tree. And you've often heard me refer to the jackfruit tree as being the tree where we get the wood, specifically heartwood, chopped into chips for boiling up to make dye and cleaning our robes the day before a positor, twice monthly, the new moon and the full moon. So not this jackfruit tree, which is nice and alive and flourishing. And I have checked it on Google, looked at the leaves. He's correct, he would be. And this is a jackfruit tree. But just beyond there, in the grove beyond, is a dead jackfruit tree. So we can chop some of this wood. Supanio Bante can anyway. I can't, we're not allowed to chop trees and wood. He can light a fire. We need to get a big pot, a cauldron, to boil up the chips of heartwood in. And this will make a solution after being boiled for 24 hours for me to boil my robes and them also if they want to get to be my colour in robes <laughs> um, and it has antiseptic biotic properties cleansing qualities and it also produces this uh, this uh, colour um, how do I turn this around hmm. not that way I don't know how to turn the camera around like this, this colour. <laughs> I've got a hat on which I'm not really supposed to have, but it's very hot in the sun and I've been getting a little bit of sunstroke. This is where the building is going on for cooties. New two cooties. One there, you see the wire, steel, rebar, that will be its four legs. And one there with its four legs. They haven't made them very far apart. I would have made them a lot further apart. And then, uh, this is our boundary, I think, the wire fence. Right up to beyond the rocks over there. And that is the back of my cootie, just there. And that is the sala, where we eat. <laughs> the dining hall. No, it's not. That's the back of the three cooties on the temple. The middle window is the temple where you hear the chanting coming from. And here of course is uh, Tom Tom. Come to see what I'm up to because you follow me around everywhere don't you Tom Tom? Tomorrow yes I go to get to Bangalore to get your food. And I will come back in a hurry with it. Okay so I thought I'd just share with you my new discovery, or rather Bante Supagno's new discovery. Actually, there's some bits of wood up there that can come down and be good enough for the purpose. Namo Buddha. So this definitely is the jackfruit tree. This is definitely Tom Tom. This is definitely the jackfruit tree, the dead one, because there is a very old dead jackfruit hanging still. So I wouldn't know why, how this has come to be in this condition, but it's ideal for what we need it for. We can take some of this, just a couple of these branches, one or two. The panio can break off some and make some very good robe washing and dyeing solution. What an excellent find. Thank you, Sipanio. Yes. And the live tree we were just sitting under, the swing, is just through there. I don't know if you can see the swing just to the left of the big tree in the middle. And I'll just show you around the corner here, whilst we're here, because I found a very nice little place to maybe spend a night or two meditating. Maybe with the little tent, maybe not. 
There is some water there, so that usually means mosquitoes of an evening. But with a little tent, that's okay. But in this little quarry, sort of, not a quarry, it's just a hole. Very quiet, peaceful, very kind of Indian. Indian terrain. Big snakes here apparently, according to Sepania. He saw one last night. You see this pond will be a lot of mosquitoes in the evening. Yes. End of my little tour for you again. <laughs> Namo Buddha. Oh, so we're heading back just to there. That is my cootie, the green building.